Hello and welcome back to my Unreal Engine Blueprint Basics for Beginners tutorial series. If you want to check out the entire series in chronological order, do not hesitate to check out the links in the description where you can find the series playlist or you can go to my Patreon where you can check out all of the videos that I've released earlier. In today's part, we are going to be taking a look at something called Duance Nodes, which are things that you can actually use to control the flow of your game and this is basically a prototype of my action RPG that I've been working on. And this is like a very early version that I can actually show you without spoilers or um, leaking any details. But basically um, what I want to show you is the duance nodes and how they are used in a more advanced um, blueprint. So first of all, in this prototype what we have is a heavy attack which um, I mean not really a heavy attack just an attack button that you can actually hit three times and each time will actually um, play a different animation and while a single animation is being played you can really um, press the button again even if you are pressing it it will not start the second animation until the first animation is finished or um, it's like at the determined time that you have decided. So we want to actually um, take a look at the code. So this is the blueprint for the light attack, which I've just showed you. What we have is the duance node over here. First time it will just pass and it will not do anything. And you can just continue with the rest of your code. And then um, even if you hit the button again, when the code reaches over here and the duance node, is actually uh, still not reset it will just not do anything until one of the later codes actually goes back and resets it and let me just show you what it looks like while the game is being played so let me show you what it looks like you can see that we are hitting it repeatedly but it doesn't really let the flow of the code pass until the reset is actually finished, which is the specified time that, um, you know, you can no longer, like, the specified time that you can actually attack again in, which is exactly what we need. So you can see that it just doesn't happen until the attack is finished, which is exactly what Duance nodes are mostly used for, for by me. So that's just something that I wanted to show you before going with a more basic example. Now I want to show you another example in a more basic environment and we are going to be doing this together. So we are going to go to the player character that we have created in the previous video and it doesn't really matter um, as long as, you know, um, it's basically, it can basically be any character. Now let's just delete all of this and start over, over here. You want to just type input E. So when we press the E button, what we want to do is we want to do once. Basically, we want to do this only once until it's reset. We can actually just get the mesh and then set visibility. And the new visibility is going to be nothing. So it's going to be false. So this should make us invisible and then delay. So basically we are going to be invisible for five seconds. Actually, let's set the visibility to be what it is not. So this is kind of a more like less, less super beginner thing, but you can get the visibility variable. Just type get is visible or without guest, just type is visible. So we want to set the visibility to be whatever it is not. So from the mesh, you also get is visible and you check if it's not. So basically you will set it to be whatever it is not this way. Just don't focus too much on it and focus on the do ones right now. So anyway, we are going to be uh, waiting for five seconds and then we can actually reset so that we can actually um, set the visibility again. Let's just give it a try. We might actually need to do one more thing in order for it to be a good example. Also, keep in mind that you should go to debug and choose the character itself. So anyway, um, 
let's just go over here, hit play, and when you press the E button, it will do it once and you are hitting it again, it will not do anything until the delay is finished and it hits the reset thingy. So now if you hit E, you can see that you can actually turn on your visibility again and it doesn't really let you pass until the reset thing is happening. So just see, this is where the reset is hit and after the reset is hit, you can hit the E button and it just happens, you cannot pass again until the reset is hit. So this is basically the do once node in a nutshell. If you guys have enjoyed the video and it was useful for you, um, do not hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe. And basically, let me just tell you that do once nodes and delay nodes will really help you control the flow of your game, will help you get timing right. Um, just, it will just be like, it will make things smoother entirely because your game really depends on timing whatever kind of game it is so keep that in mind and just use do once nodes don't forget about them and yeah i will see you in the next video guys take care have a great day and bye